I mean, I don't know why you got a YouTube page called NC Stang's videos and you never show any NC Stang's videos. I get that all the time. Actually, I don't get that. I literally never, ever get that. If you want to see Mustang content that I'm posting, go to NC Stang's on Instagram. And I post a lot of Mustang stuff there. If you're interested in that kind of thing, which I am, obviously. So anyway, I got the old two valve. 2001 GT 4.6 liter modular dual overhead cam V8. Pumping out a claimed horsepower from the factory of 260. Uh, there are videos on this channel of this car doing nothing. Me installing dumb shit. But today I'm also going to install some more stuff. We're going to take this spoiler off. And we're going to put this spoiler on. Which is made by a friend of mine. It's not on the trash can. Jeez Louise. I mean, you're trying to give the guy a shout out. We're going to put it on the trash can. How about we put it on the old wheelbarrow? Okay. So this is a spoiler made by... Friend of mine, the Serbinator. Where's my hardware? Where's my hardware kit? You can find him on Facebook. If I can remember to do it, I will put a um, link in the description to his Instagram. And you can check him out. His name is Matthew Serbin. Uh, he's a big Mustang guy, big Fox body guy. Um, but he designed these, make these. There's, uh, he's got them available for Fox bodies. He's actually making them for F100s. Um, I'm not gonna put one on Brown Betty because it's not that, it's not that kind of truck. Um, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this spoiler off, and while I'm at it, I'm gonna take the uh, third brake light off and sand it down. It's real faded. Uh, we're gonna paint. We're gonna paint that black. We're gonna have the black spoiler. And I am seriously contemplating doing a rattle can on this hood scoop and painting it black too. Uh, God, I don't know if I'll get that or not. Because this thing's actually supposed to go in the shop in a week or two and get 355 gears put in it. Hopefully. By my man Jamie down the street. Anyway. So that's what's getting ready to happen here. So, uh, Oh, I don't know if I get it in this video, but I'm also got the lowering springs that I ordered like two months ago that I have not put on. Uh, I've been waiting to get some stuff done on this thing and some tractor stuff done and get this stuff out of here and get this shop cleaned up and make room for it so I can get some work and get room in here to work. So anyway, that's what's going on. Still got the shop cat, snowflake. It's actually not all black. But anyway, so I gotta clean that up. I'm gonna go ahead and paint it. Uh, I'm not gonna put, uh, I don't think I'm gonna clear it. I think I'm just gonna paint it. We'll paint it and see what, see, what, see what it looks like. So let's do that. So we got the mock up, got the old fiberglass wing off. You know, I may repaint that. I'm not a painter or a welder or a mechanic or much of nothing, I don't guess. But anyway, <laughs> uh, I just got it mocked up. I got it held on with a couple magnets. So it goes in the, I got to clean, I got to clean all this. So it bolts into the holes and it comes with the hardware and it comes with the hardware. It comes with the uh, uh, pop rivets. There's that spider. It comes with pop rivets to go in here, black pop rivets to close those holes. Uh, I thought about not putting those in in case I want to put the spoiler ever put the spoiler back on. Excuse me, but uh, you can always just drill them out. Put them in. Who cares? Whatever. God, you hear that Honda go by? I think the screen. <laughs> anyway, there's the mock-up. So I got a, some Scotch Bright pads on the old uh, die grinder, and I'm gonna clean this thing up. It's been sitting in the back of this car for like two months. Uh, I actually went to. Uh, where they make these and watch team make it right in front of it. So uh, I'm gonna clean, I gotta clean the uh, third brake light. You can really see the difference of where it's, it was underneath the, 
or it's plain there and not there. So I got to go to the auto parts store in the morning and get some uh, some high grit. I'm just gonna do it like that. I'll get a couple some thousand grit. I'm not gonna buy one of those kits. I'll just scrape it down with some sandpaper and maybe put some polishing compound on it or something to polish it up. <clears throat> but I'm gonna go ahead and take it out, paint that, and then it'll probably be tomorrow before that's ready. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go watch some more YouTube videos about how to start, how to install coil springs, lowering springs, and then I'm gonna to attempt to install lowering springs. Um, I don't have a lift, and I've seen videos of people doing it in, oh, not on the lift, but I might have to go to the old Harbor Freight and buy me another uh, floor jack, so I have two floor jacks so I can cock one side up. Cat, I'm gonna scratch my paint. This paint is perfect, perfectly terrible. It's not terrible, but it's not great either. But anyway, it's what we call a 30 footer. Looks good from afar, but far from good looking. But anyway, <laughs> taking this show on the road, practicing my material. Uh, so let's get that cleaned up, painted. It can dry overnight, and we'll take the brake light out. We'll clean it tomorrow. We'll clean up the spots where the old uh, spoiler was, and then we'll uh, see what it looks like. I think it's going to look pretty sweet. Uh, you can see some renderings. Or renderings. You can actually see some. There's plenty. Of, he sold a bunch of them. You can go on his... Uh, Facebook page, Serbinator Auto Design, and see uh, all kinds of uh, examples for the Fox bodies. Uh, I know he's got the new Edge. He's making some for the F100. As my daughter said, 100, F100, and uh, and uh, I assume for the SN95s. I mean, uh, for the one S197s, 05s to whenever they quit making us. 14. So, uh, anyway, that's what's going on. All right, clean it up with the old die grinder and the old red scotch bright. And I got the uh, Krylon high heat. You know why? Because that's what I had. And I want it to be real flat. I want the. I don't want it to be glossy. I want the. I want it to be real flat paint job. Flat as hell. Flat. So, I tell you what, that thing looks good without a spoiler. I'm not going to lie. I had debated before about taking the spoiler off. Um, the thing looks good without the spoiler. But we're going to put that spoiler on there because I want to look different. Anybody can take a spoiler off. Anybody can one of the other spoilers on but we're gonna go a little bit different route anyway that's gonna end it for tonight i might have to let that thing dry i was gonna put two coats on it but she's dead uh, i might go by lowe's in the morning buy another can i don't i, I don't know i don't know i just don't know anyway uh there's a red rocket man God, i think it was good standing right here but I don't know if I'll jack it up and take the wheels off of it tonight or what. And I'll watch a couple more YouTube videos on changing out the springs and we'll, then we'll fly into it. It's supposed to rain like crazy Thursday. Got Hurricane Sally, Mustang Sally coming up from the Gulf of Mexico. And uh, it rained on our parade. What does the cat think about it? What do you think about it, cat? Yeah, you don't care. So, all right. That's it for tonight. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow. All right, it is the next day. I went to the hardware store. Well, Advance Auto Parts. And I bought some... Uh, some uh, sandpaper. I've been sanding on this thing. You can see where I've sanded the difference right there where I've sanded all this is 800 grit and that's all you really need to uh, to clean this up so I'm gonna sand on it some more and I got some thousand grit too that I might use to polish it but I got some soapy water here and wet sanding it and I'm gonna 
I maybe should have got some 600 grit to start with, but I didn't. But I'm gonna clean this up some more and see how it looks. All right, it's the next day. I've uh, took the third brake light out. So I had this residue on here from where the spoiler was and I tried to get it off with just some, some rubbing compound, but it wouldn't come off. So what I ended up having to do was I got some 2,500 grit sandpaper from the auto parts store and wet sanded it down. And what's left is where imperfections in the paint. And the spoiler is gonna cover up most of this. And I've got uh, those filler washers to cover these holes, which will cover most of that. But this right here is, is where the paint's just, paint's just screwed. So uh, I polished it, I bought some polish and sanded it and polished it and it, you know, is what it is. Uh, it still looks like crap. I may hit it again with the polisher because it's, I mean, it's got some deep scratches in it, but that's just, I mean, the car is 20 years old, so what do you expect? So, the spoiler turned out good. It's nice and flat. The paint is flat, but that's the way I wanted it, real flat. So, we're going to put the third brake light back in, then we'll uh, mount the spoiler back up. So, when I got the spoiler, I took it out in sunlight to check on it, and it needed a second coat. So, I put a second coat on it while I was waiting. I decided to just do the whole deck lid with the polish and it's not going to show up, it might, it's not going to show up on the camera and I got to do some more buffing on it, but man, it, it made a pretty, pretty good difference from what it was before. It had a ton of watermarks on it and probably wouldn't hurt to hit it again. But uh, I'm probably not going to because that's almost dry. I did hit the light and I, I buffed the light before I installed it. Put it back in and it's made a big difference on the light. Light's a lot clearer. I, I sanded it with some 320 and then some 800. And then I took the polishing compound on it and polished it. And uh, man, it looks good. So I'm going to rub this down some more. And... Uh, and uh, put that spoiler on. But it does, it looks good. Well, here's the finished product. And I don't know how good it looks on camera, but in person it looks sweet. I mean, the color is what I wanted, the flat, super flat black. Um, it's got holes right here for pop rivets, to pop rivet it down. And I may do that at some point in the future, but I want to be able to take it back off. I'm gonna order the uh, the pin from LMR for this color and cover up those spots. So I'll probably end up taking it back off. But man, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I'm not gonna lie. Now when I get these lower springs on there, some of this is gonna be looking right right and tight but I love these cars I love this model car uh, I like the SN95 the you know 96 to 98 but uh, something about this car man bang anyways enough corny shit there it is man I like it if you want you one look up uh, Serbinator Auto Design on uh, Instagram and Facebook and uh, I'll try to put a link in the description to some of this stuff and uh, check them out man. All right, laters.